Hello, we are going to talk about contingency tables and today we're going to calculate total percentages of a contingency table. So let's go ahead and start with an example. It says a survey of 1,085 adults asked, do you enjoy shopping for clothing for yourself? The results indicated that 51% of the females enjoy shopping for clothing for themselves as compared to the 44% of the males. Suppose that the results were shown as shown in the following table. So this is my table and as you can see I have it broken up into gender and their response to the question about shopping. I have 238 males who enjoy shopping for themselves, 276 females who enjoy shopping for themselves, and then for the no column I have 304 males who do not enjoy shopping for themselves and 267 females who do not enjoy shopping for themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the total percentages, uh, sorry, the percent of overall totals for each one of these cells. So to calculate that, I'm going to rewrite this table. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so I can put my numbers in. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at each one of these numbers and we're going to divide by the total number in our survey. In our survey we have 1,085. So to figure out the percentages of male who uh, enjoy shopping for themselves, we're going to take 238 and we're going to divide it by 1085. And I like to round my decimals uh, off to two decimal places. Um, in this particular problem we get 0.2193. I'm just going to go ahead and make it at a percent. When you make, a, make it a percent you move it over two decimal places to the right. So in this one it will be 21.93. To do the second number for no for the males it will be 304 divided by 10085. And when I get that, I get 28.02. So I'm going to take each one of these numbers and I'm going to divide, divide it by 1085. So I'm just going to write the rest of the numbers in here. And remember, these are, when you do it on your calculator, there will be decimals. You just have to change them to a percent by moving it over two decimal places to the right. And I'm also going to do it for the total column. For this one, you're going to take the 514 and divide it by 1085. Okay. And then I'm going to do the total column at the bottom. get 49.95 here and I get 50.04 and for this uh, last number here where the 1085 is this is just going to be 100 percent if you take 1085 divided by 1085 you get 1 and to change that to a percent you'll move it over two decimal places so it'll be 100 So this will be your contingency table for the percent of overall total. And I'll put this up here, percent of overall total. Okay, hope that helps.